Hi, my name is Hannah. I'm gonna be your physical therapist today. We're just gonna run through some range of motion exercises to work on that mobility of your shoulder, okay? okay. All right, so for this first one, we're gonna start with a band that's tied to the doorknob, making sure that it's a doorknob that no one's gonna walk through while you're doing this exercise. And based on how much pull we want from this band, we're either gonna stand further away or closer for less resistance. So for this one, we're gonna stand at a good distance um, away from the wall with the band in our hand, shoulder is stable, elbow is going to be along the side of our body, and then we're just going to move our, our shoulder outwards this way, arm out, and then come back. And with this one, you shouldn't feel any pain. Just work at a level that feels good to you, and uh, we'll do that to work on the range of motion of external rotation. Okay. okay. So now that we're in this position, um, what we're going to start with is with your left hand on your shoulder, just making sure that we're holding that arm in place and making sure this elbow sticks to your body, right? And then we're gonna bring the arm out this way and come back and again and come back. So we're gonna do that for two sets of 15. Now we're gonna move our arm inward. So same concept. We're gonna stand a good distance away from the door and we're just gonna move the arm in and bring it out and then in and bring it out. Again, we don't wanna feel um, any pain with this activity, so if we do, we'll just stop. And we're just gonna move the arm inward and come back, inward and come back. And we're gonna do that for two sets of 15. For this one, we're gonna be doing a pendulum swing. So because the affected arm is the right arm, we're gonna place our left arm on a table or a stable surface. We're gonna be in a lunge position and using the momentum of our body, we're just gonna move, creating circles. And as we feel more comfortable, we're just gonna make bigger rotations and we're gonna do 10 rotations in each direction. So once I reach 10, we're just gonna move this direction. But I want you to use the momentum of your body to create those circles. So we're working on the patient's uh, circumduction range of motion, which is gonna be good for that overall motion right there. Keeping that shoulder relaxed and moving it in a circular motion, great. We're gonna do 10 rounds of that. And once we reach 10, we're gonna move the other direction. So we reach 10 and we go the other way. So for this one, we're gonna be doing an IYT raise. And we're gonna have you facing downwards um, in a prone position. And what we're going to be doing is with our hands in a fist, with our thumb out this way, we're going to start by doing a T motion, the Y motion, so a little bit higher up, then go into the I motion, just like that. And here we're working on the stability of the scapula and your shoulders. So if you feel any discomfort or pain with this one, we'll, we will modify that for you um, or we will stop. We're going to be using the muscles in our shoulder to bring it out to the side. So first we're gonna start with the T's. So we're gonna bring our arms out together in a T motion, great. And come down and up again and down. We're gonna do three sets of 10 on that one. And now we're gonna to move to the Y. So the Y is gonna be a little bit higher up. We're gonna do three sets of 10 on that one. Great, and now we're gonna to move to the I. So we're gonna bring our arms up keeping them straight and come down and up again. We're gonna do three sets of 10 of that one as well. We're gonna be doing a passive range of motion. So what that means is that I'm just gonna be moving your shoulder and we're just gonna be working on that overall range. So what I'm gonna have you do is just relax the muscle right here. I'm just going to stabilize the shoulder here and we're just gonna bring the arm up come down and we're going to do two sets of 10 on this one making sure that the patient's muscle is relaxed around the shoulder and we don't want to get to the point of stretching for this one so this is just working on the mobility of the patient's shoulder 